Hey everybody, it's Chris with The Droning Company here and I am joined by my new friend, Ricardo Mendez of Tech Ever. First of all, that is extremely impressive and that's what caught my eye when I was walking past your booth. I want to learn a little bit more about that, but tell me about what you do for Tech Ever and you know, what, your company role, what your company's role is. Okay, thank you, Chris. Uh, so my name is Ricardo Mendes. I'm, uh, I'm co-founder and CEO at, at Tech Ever. Uh, Tech Ever is a European company, so we, we started out in Portugal. Today we branched out, we're in several places in several countries. Uh, and we are the main manufacturer and operator in Europe of, of UAS, particularly for security and defense. Okay. We specialize in maritime surveillance, although we do have a lot of customers in land-based surveillance and, and operations. We're a, a very vertically integrated company, so we go, uh, we do the, the entire cycle of uh, development and production. We have multiple production facilities. We design everything from the aeronautical projects to electronics development, software on board and on ground development, and then production of all the composite structures, integration, etc. And we provide the systems to our customers either uh, as a, in a self-reliant mode where they can operate themselves. We train, support, uh, provide all the maintenance or we can operate them for them. So we're an operator as well. We operate in multiple countries currently. So that's basically what we do. That's amazing, that is incredible. What's even more incredible, like I said, is this. Can you tell us a bit about what this drone is and what its, what its main purpose is? Sure, so our, our AR3 is one of our three products in our product line. Um, it's an optional VTOL system. So the AR3 has been on the market for, for a couple of years. It has a lot of heritage uh, in multiple types of missions from land surveillance, maritime surveillance. It's operating in the UK, in France, uh, in Nigeria, for example. Um, and we recently launched uh, the capability to, for it to be operated in a VTOL manner. So basically we optionally can carry the booms, the VTOL booms, which you just decide just before landing, before taking off, if you want to use the booms uh, to take off vertically or if you want to use a catapult. It depends on the mission profile and the operator can decide at the last minute. Um, and, and, uh, and, and that gives us a lot, a lot of uh, operational flexibility. Uh, it flies uh, for about 16 hours, a bit more, operationally, uh, so including fuel reserve in, in all of that. Um, if you have the booms, it flies a bit less, so above 10 hours uh, operationally again. Uh, it carries multiple sensors. We carry, obviously, gimbals with EO, IR capabilities, laser designation, etc. But very recently, we actually launched also the capability to bring a SAR on board, a static capture radar, which is very, very important in multiple types of missions, particularly in, in security and defense. Um, so it's one of our most uh, used products. Um, also with the AR5, which is a, a larger, the larger uh, product of our family, uh, which is basically a, a 200 kilo, almost 200 kilo plane uh, that flies, uh, that carries SATCOM, etc. The AR3 is uh, more tactical, so it goes up to 100 kilometers. Um, actually, today we're operating it at 150 kilometers. Uh, distance so it's quite interesting excellent now in terms of uh, payload capacity I mean what what does something like this what is it able to carry um, so the, the the total MTO of the of the system is about 23 kilos okay. I sorry I think in kilos uh, uh, that's all right. uh, <laughs> um, we can carry up to up to eight kilos um, in, in payload but typically what we do is uh, that the sensors are very integrated within within this within the um, Within the product, we carry our, our own gimbals, which are all, we also manufacture, or we carry gimbals from some from 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 the market. We we work, for example, um, well, well, well with, with multiple uh, suppliers. It really depends on what the customer uh, prefers. Um, so typically, that's that's the case. You carry the gimbal, you ca carry AIS, you carry EPIRB, you carry a lot of SIGINT sensors, uh, SARS, depending on what the customer wants. But uh, all, in the end, it's a trade-off between the fuel capacity and how much endurance you want to get out of the system and, and what, what sensors you really want. Uh, what, one thing that we currently do in several operations is we fly multiple of these systems at the same time. So one ground station, multiple birds in the air uh, with the different 
planes doing different things, carrying different sensors, so that you, with the system as a whole, you can basically have uh, a, a better surveillance capability. So you could carry, for example, a larger gimbal uh, on one of the planes and a SAR or a SIGINT payload on another of the planes, and then use that as a combination to, um, to, to for the entire operation. Okay, excellent. That's great information. Now, if somebody wanted to learn a little bit more about Tech Ever or any of your drone platforms for their own projects, where would they best do that? At our website, obviously, or talking to one of our customers. So, uh, our website is www.techever.com uh, okay. uh, or mail us at info at techever.com and we'll get in touch very easily. Excellent. Ricardo, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you.